guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we are trying out this new model one's little gel polish collection first of all it comes in this really cute bag and the first thing we got here are some stickers some butterfly stickers and these like gold stickers right here next are the gel polishes which we will come back to next we got this mini hand file oh no i think this is the buffer this is the hand file a cuticle scraper and cuticle pusher a little um nail like hand brush to brush out all of that dust from the nails it also comes with a cuticle oil and lastly a nail lamp this is what it looks like it's pink here are the gel polishes this is the model one's lipstick like gel polish collection so we first have the base coat and top coat and look at these like bottles like they are so cute they literally look like lipstick all right, so here are all the gel polishes and let's just get swatching. So here is the first color. It's this light pink. And here is the next color. All these bottles have like a nice matte finish. Here's the next color. Here is the next color. Here's the next color. And here is the last color. So here are all the gel polishes. We have some pink, some nudes, also a dark purple and a dark red. So let's just get right into this nail set. All right, for this nail set, we're not really doing too much. It's a simple set. We're just doing some long stiletto nails and we're gonna be painting them with gel polish. We're first gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles, you know, doing the normal nail prep stuff. And this like white stuff on her nails is um, from gel polish because I painted her nails before and then she kind of like picked them off. So there's just leftover gel polish on her nails, but I'll be cleaning that up. So after we push back the cuticles, I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess dead skin with my cuticle scissors. And then I'm going to go ahead and smooth out the free edge and remove the shine and all that excess gel polish off of the nails. Next, I'm going in with my dehydrator. This is Mia Secret Dehydrator, and I'm gonna be putting one layer on each of the nails. Now I'm going in with the primer, and I'm also gonna be putting one layer of that on each of the nails as well. Next, I'm going in with my KDS glue and I'm going to be gluing on all the nail tips. Um, I didn't show in the video, but the nail tips that I used will be in the description. These are like some long stiletto nail tips. Next, I'm going to be taking my nail clippers and I'm just going to cut down the nails to the length I like, but also in the stiletto shape. And then I'm going to go in with my hand file and just reshape the nail tips. Now I'm gonna use my sanding band and remove the shine from the nail tips. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but I kinda did my nail prep backwards. I accidentally put the primer and dehydrator before I put on the nail tips. Usually I put on the primer and dehydrator after I like sand down all the nail tips and stuff like that. Now I'm going in with the base coat and this is the base coat from the gel polish lipstick collection that I'm using in today's video. Now I'm going to be using this clear Model 1's poly gel and I'm just going to be putting a bead of that on each of the nails. Just so you know, I do like use a lot of poly gel sometimes so I scrape off like a lot of excess poly gel that I don't need. I know it's a bad habit but sometimes I just, 
I'd rather put too much than not enough, which is not that good because I'm just wasting a lot of poly gel. This is just a random clear model ones poly gel. Because I put like so much poly gel on the nail, it's like easier to make the apex as well. So yeah, we're just gonna make sure that the nails are nice and crisp before we cure them. And now I'm gonna be moving on to the next nails. The slip solution, like the clear liquid that I dip my brush into is 91% isopropyl alcohol. I get a lot of comments that ask me what I'm dipping my brush into and it is 91% isopropyl alcohol. You can use 70%. I've tried using acetone. I wouldn't recommend it, but yeah, you can use acetone and I know you can use base coat gel as your slip solution as well. But my favorite slip solution is 91% isopropyl alcohol. It never gives me any issues. It's just the best slip solution that I have tried. Now that all the poly gel is applied, we're gonna wipe off all that sticky layer with some 91% isopropyl alcohol. And then I'm just going to reshape these nails using my McCart dust collector and my hand file. So if you guys are interested in this Model One's gel polish, I know I haven't used it yet in the video, but I do recommend it. It is really good. I love all the colors. I know there is two lipstick gel polish collections. There's more of a bluish green collection. And then there's also the pink like series that I'm using right now in this video. And yeah, I think all the colors are really good and they all look so nice together. Honestly, the gel polish kit just comes with everything you need to do gel polish nails. But if you are interested, all the information for it will be in the description. You can use the code capital VIC for 15% off on the Model One's website.
So after we're done shaping with the hand file, I usually go in with this drill bit and I don't know like what to call it. Would you call it a safety drill bit? I'm not really sure, but it has like that rounded top over it. And I use this to like remove all the scratches from the nail. And I just think this part is the most satisfying part. The link for these drill bits will be in the description. They are McCart drill bits and I really like them. They've lasted a really long time. If you're looking for some drill bits, I definitely recommend these. I got them on Amazon. So after all the shaping and filing, we're just going to go ahead and apply the gel polish. So I'm going to be honest, um, I did both of her hands and on the other hand, we painted them with that like nude color and I didn't really like, like I wanted, like I didn't know what to do after that. I didn't want to just paint them nude and be done. Um, so we spent like an hour trying to figure out like what design I'm going to be doing on these nails and I just couldn't figure it out for the life of me i'm like i don't i just don't know what to do with these nails we just took a break from that other hand that i painted the new gel polish on and then i went on to this hand and painted them all with this dark purple i'm doing these nails on my younger sister and she likes you know darker colored nails so this color was perfect for her and i just think this color looks so good and it just applied really well so that's all we did for this nail set i'm just painting all these nails this dark purple color And now I'm going in with the second coat of that purple. Um, you honestly can leave it just one coat if you want it to be a little more translucent, kind of like a jelly gel polish if you wanted, but we decided to go a little more darker, so we added that second coat of gel polish. All right, so after all the gel polish is applied, we're going in with some top coat and I'm gonna to be top coating all these nails. And now I'm going in with some cuticle oil. And 
here are how the nails turned out there's some simple stiletto nails painted with some gel polish if you guys are interested in this model one's gel polish kit all the information is in the description you can use the code capital vic for 15 percent off your order on the model one's website so yeah this was a simple little video i hope it kind of showed you um like my application process as well for like the poly gel i thought this video might be a little bit helpful for that i just could not think of a nail design today so yeah i'm sorry about that they're a little bit simple hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you all next time bye